Ooh, KP made a video about Luna's mane. I wonder what her explanation is. What if Luna's appearance was based on the fact that she was drained of all her power? Oh my gosh, that's exactly what I was thinking about Luna's mane. What else do you have to say about this theory? I am Beth Alicorn Princess. Okay. Hey everyone, Mayhem Prone here from the Mayhem Prone Show, where today, Luna's mane. It changed from her first appearance to her second appearance, and everybody's always wondered why. KP's theory was really good, but she didn't go very in-depth on how it worked, and she didn't provide too much evidence. So I'm gonna do one of my favorite things in the world, dig in deeper. First of all, why would Luna's mane transform when she gets weakened? You notice when Twilight Sparkle gets weakened, her mane doesn't change, so what's the logic behind this? Why well, believe that the manes that Celestia and Luna have during the show aren't actually manes, but constructs of energy? This may sound really weird, but it actually makes a lot of sense. First of all, it explains why Luna and Celestia's manes are transparent unlike other ponies in the world of Equestria. This also explains why their manes always seem to be blowing in the wind, even when they're indoors and there's not even a zephyr breeze. The energy is pulsating in convexion currents. Well, the main question you're probably asking is why would Luna and Celestia have giant balls of energy on their heads? Well, the answer is actually quite simple. In Twilight Kingdom Part 1 and 2, the Alicorn Princesses are required to give their magic to Twilight Sparkle. When this happens, she becomes extremely unstable due to the immense amounts of power she holds. This always made me wonder, how did Luna and Celestia maintain so much magic without losing control similar to Twilight? Most people would argue that it's because of their discipline, practice, and wisdom, but I believe they maintain so much power under their control by keeping some of it on the outside of their bodies, in the form of their energy mains. I'd say this makes a good explanation why Luna's mane changes when she loses all of her power, but if you know me, you know it's time to dig even deeper. Why is it that Luna loses all of her power when she's defeated? This is odd because we've never seen an Alicorn Princess reduced to such a low power level even when said princesses were under similar amounts of stress. Well, to figure this out, we're gonna have to look at two episodes. First of all, in Sonic Rainboom, the rest of the main six has to go and meet Rainbow Dash and Cloudsdale, but they need to be able to walk on clouds. So, Twilight Sparkle uses her magic to give Rarity wings. This completely drains her of her energy and she can only do it for Rarity. This shows that magic that transforms the physical body takes large amounts of magic to pull off. This is also proven in the episode Magic Duel, where it's revealed that age and gender spells are some of the most advanced and magic draining spells that a unicorn could hope to learn. So I'd say it's not much of a stretch to say that Luna's mane is different in her first appearance because the physical transformation from Nightmare Moon to Luna is so taxing that it uses up almost all of her alicorn power, leaving her unable to create her energy mane. But what do you think? Why did Luna's mane change between her first and second appearance? Is it possible that Luna and Celestia's manes are made up of energy? Is it possible that Luna was weakened because of her physical transformation from Nightmare Moon? Leave a comment in the section below to let me know what you think. The Must Watch Pony Video of the Week once again goes to Vanamillen, famous for her Fluttershy play series, but this time she's brought out saying especially awesome. It's called Help I'm Stuck in a Game.mp4. Due to Twilight Sparkle's magical shenanigans, Fluttershy gets trapped in Sonic 2, and as you'd expect, it's extremely funny and cool. And if you go check it out, please tell her that I sent you. And until next time, I'm Mayhem Prone from the Mayhem Prone Show. And goodbye!